did a project about John Locke, who was a philosopher. And before we even started the project, I guess we should know what a philosopher is. And basically, a philosopher is a thinker. That's what he thought a lot. And one of his ideas that he really supported was the social contract. And before we begin watching a quick video on his biology, on his biography, um, we should know that he is that he was born in England, and he was born a long time ago, but because he was born in, 19, in 1632. John Locke was born on August 29, 1632, in a small thatched cottage by the church in Wrighton, Somerset. Born to John and Agnes, two Puritans, he led a happy childhood in the market town of Pensford, about seven miles south of Bristol. In 1647, Locke was sent to the prestigious Westminster School in London under the sponsorship of Alexander Popham, a member of Parliament and former commander of Locke's father. After completing his studies there, he was admitted to Christ Church College at Oxford University. Although a capable student, Locke was irritated by the undergraduate curriculum of the time. He found reading modern philosophers such as René Descartes more interesting than the classical material taught at the university. Locke was awarded a bachelor's degree in 1656 and a master's degree in 1658. He attained a bachelor's of medicine in 1674, having studied medicine extensively during his time at Oxford. Locke soon composed the bulk of his work, the two treaties on government. Locke wrote the treaties to counter the absolutist political philosophy of Sir Robert Filmer and Thomas Hobbes. Though Locke was associated with the influential Whigs, his ideas about the natural rights in government are today considered quite revolutionary for that period of English history. Locke fled to the Netherlands in 1683 and did not return home until after the Glorious Revolution, making his way back to England in 1688. The bulk of Locke's publishing took place after his arrival back in England. The essay, the two trees, and a letter concerning toleration all appeared in quick succession upon his return from exile. Locke died in 1704 after a prolonged decline in health and is buried in the churchyard of, in the village of High Laver, east of Harlow in Essex, where he had lived in the household of Sir Francis Masham since 1791. Locke never married nor had any children. Okay, and as you can see, that is a drawing of um, John Locke. Some of the works that Mr. Locke wrote is a letter concerning tolerance, which basically states that Catholics are taking over society. In other way, it means that just how we have to go to just like we have to go to church with our parents every Sunday, we have to listen to the Catholics right now. John Locke died of asthma attack when he returned to London. He died on October 18, 1704. Most of the ideas that John Locke that John Locke thought about came from his school when he became irritated with the philosophers that he studied. He was a great promoter and believed in the in the idea of tabula rasa, which Although it may seem as a big word, it actually means blank slate. And the best way to explain tabula rasa is to watch this video. Go ahead, try it. Just like in the game, you start with a blank, basically blank board. Just like John Locke said, you're a blank slate, you're a blank void. And through your experiences, you build on your life. And you rule your destiny. You're not born, you don't have to be born and you say that, and when you're born, they say you're going to be a teacher. You choose what you want to be. You can even be cheese if you want. It's all up to you. But through every experience you make, you gain more knowledge. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're going to talk about the social contract theory, which is one of the things that he discussed the most in a lot of his work. Uh, just a rundown on the social contract theory. It's one of history's oldest philosophies, and many of the world's greatest philosophers have thought about this 
in their words or writing. So it's not limited to just you know, one person like John Locke to think about it. Uh, other ones, Socrates and Thomas Hobbes thought about it. This, and it's still not limited to them. There's so much more. <clears throat> and what it is, it, the social contract states that a person's political and social well-being is dependent on the state of law and structure government around them. So that would mean people give up their rights or power. So I can't go and steal something from Mr. Carey, like this tree. I give up the right to steal that, <laughs> so the government will protect everybody else with laws. Uh, so it's the, it's the foundation of the of modern day constitutions in the United States and many other countries. Uh, so it's an agreement amongst people that states, you know, we're not gonna, or we're gonna set up these laws. Uh, you know, these are the rights you have, and these are the rights that are protected. And you know, we have a little video. Show also, you. the social contract it also states that everyone should be equal. So you have to respect and like everyone around you. And basically, good part of it is. Always count on having an undead yeah, with, with the people you Thomas Hobbes, a lot of his works or writings on the social contract theory, wrote a book called uh, Levathon, uh, and he believes that if you're living with, you know, without social contract or the state of law that a government sets up, it'll be a state of nature. And in his mind, state of nature is bad. He says life will be short, brutish, and nasty in a state of nature. Uh, you know, he believes, and then the government set up he believes it should be made on an absolute power system, like one king ruling over all and making the decision. Uh, now, John Locke has a different view on state of nature. He believes that people will have stronger moral limits in a state of nature. So, you know, people will think about it differently and say, you know, there might be, a, still might say, there's going to be a consequence if I do that, rather than, you know, prison or stuff making you scared not to do anything. And his uh, idea of a set up structured government's different. He believes that there should be a neutral judge to make all decisions. So over conflicts, you go to the judge, and that judge decides who's right and who's wrong. Uh, a lot of the social contract theory can be picked out of the Declaration of Independence. Just a background on it. It was the text was finalized on July fourth, seventeen seventy six. It was a statement that declared America's freedom from the British Empire. And it states that everybody gets life, liberty, meaning freedom, and the pursuit of happiness with the ability to be happy. Uh, this is pretty much the same slide. But here's the direct text from it. Uh, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, and they are endowed by their creator with a certain unreliable rights, among that are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And this next line is pretty much where the social contract theory comes in. To secure these rights, governments are <coughs> instituted among men, dividing their just powers from the constant of the governed, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it, and to institute new government, laying its foundation shrub principles and organizing powers in such a form as <coughs> form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. 
setting up the foundations of America. Uh, we have a democracy, which means uh, we elect the people, like the president. Uh, everyone gets to vote. And uh, we live every day by the social contract. You guys heard that? Uh, metaphysics is a big word, but it basically just means the study of being and knowing. Uh, John Locke believed in God, which is uh, a little different from the other thinkers of his day. And uh, one of his big theories was the state of nature, which meant uh, a state of perfect freedom, where a person can rule their lives. Uh, it didn't mean you could do whatever you wanted, uh, but everyone was equal. Then there's the law of nature, which uh, tells us what's right and wrong, and it's given to us by God. He believed, unlike Thomas Hobbes, that people were essentially good. Ethics, another kind of big word, but uh, basically just means what's right and wrong. Uh, we know what's right or wrong through that law of nature that God gave us. However, we don't always act on it. And unlike uh, another philosopher, Marx, uh, John Locke did not believe that we could force these ideas. Uh, existentialism basically just means uh, the human condition now. Uh, he said, uh, by the social contract, we are ruled, but uh, we have undeniable rights, which uh, life, liberty, and uh, pursuit of happiness that no one can take from us. And we have to obey to the laws that government gives us. A big part of John Locke is uh, political construction, or the setup of uh, the society we live in. He thought that people should rule themselves, like in the democracy, and uh, the big part is he thought people have the right to overthrow the government, or in his case, uh, the King of England, if it uh, does not provide these three rights. And uh, he did not believe being ruled by a king. And, uh, JT's got a little pop quiz. <coughs> hey, my pop quiz. So we have a little pop quiz right now. Oh, I got number one. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, you can't hit, you get it, right? Yeah. Oh! Uh, what country... Mr. What, what, what country was John Locke born in? Uh, you should call him. Big James Shakes, he's nice and tall over there. England. Hey, look at that smiley face. Give me your candy. <laughs> oh, action shot. Action shot. What? what year was John Locke born? Hmm? I have no idea. 1632. 1632. Eh. Good job. You got it right. Impressive. We got some more. Oh, no. Oh, what year was the Declaration of Independence written? Matt. It was passed before the Declaration of Independence. Um, That's garbage. It wasn't even written there. <laughs> what are you telling these kids? <laughs> Matt, I want you to eat that candy for uh, the camera. True or false? John Locke believed in God. True. Steve? Ruined everything. Well, this is what we can't have nice things. Best. 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 <laughs> Which of the following rights is not stated in the Declaration of Independence? We got life, love, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. Uh, John Locke believed in love. love. <laughs> Just give me the back of the And true or false, John Locke did not believe in being ruled by a king. Are we done here? You don't have to take 